Rockhaven Customs back. Hope you liked that little intro. It's just something I've been working with. So we have the truck here in the video. It was assembled and everything. Just wanted to kind of do a little editing on the video. So we're gonna get the truck assembled now. Everything's cleared, everything's painted. Got everything ready to put back together. I went ahead and made my uh, grab handles for the truck and they're not glued in or just sitting in I just kind of wanted to go over that real quick with you all I use is and I've got these little straight pins here and I'm sure people use this in other videos but um, this is what I make my grab handles with it's just, just a straight pin and I'll take and cut them Cut the ends off and just bend it and you just make your grab handles like that of course this one wasn't one that would work but i went ahead and saved it just to show in the video and i just take a pair of dikes and a pair of flat pliers and just bend everything and that's how we uh get our grab handles i've got to glue them in so that's going to be the first thing we're going to do is glue our handles in and I'm just going to take a little glue and I'm going to put a little dot right here so you can see there's a little dot there and I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to go on the inside of the truck a couple places and just go ahead and glue them from the inside and put a little glue on them just to hold them in place there's a couple places where they was uh, sticking through the casting a little bit, so we can uh, put a little glue on them and get them set. It doesn't take much. We're just going to put a little bit on each each one of these little holes just to kind of help hold them in. And I'm just going to check, make sure that they're sticking out about the same on each side. Now, I did not shoot a video of me clearing the truck. It was kind of the same process of of everything um, on the painting and the primer. But we're going to get everything ready for this to be assembled today. And we'll get, get it final. Because as you can tell in the videos, it was finished. Uh, that was something that I'm kind of working on just to um, do a little bit different stuff with the videos and stuff. This is dry. I just don't want to scratch it or ding it in any way. So that's got all that done. So now we can start assembling everything. First off, we're gonna start with a grill. Now that we got our handles in, um, we're gonna get our grill put back in. And I didn't, I thought about paint matching a lot of this, but I decided just to leave it factory. Um, I didn't see no need in doing anything special with them. So we got this, we're just gonna come in here with a little glue and put a little dab of glue in here just to hold it. It doesn't really matter, Just I'm just putting a little glue somewhere just to hold the grill insert in. Okay, we'll put a little insecure on it just to help hold that. All right, next, um, I think we're gonna put our our window, our windshield back in. So we're just gonna drop that. And I did go ahead and drill out the uh, holes where the window was um, because I know the rivets was off on it a little bit, so. 
I went ahead and and um, put just a dab of glue or a dab of or I've drilled the holes out. I'll get out in a second. So we're gonna take our glue and put just a little bit of glue on that back one there just to, to hold the windshield in and it have something to bite to. I'm gonna put just a dab of and set on that. So now we're gonna put our um, interior in. Uh, I just went in and cleaned it very well. I didn't really do anything to it. Now, real quick, I do need to take and hit that pin just a little bit. So, we're gonna use, let's see if we can get in there that. Mm. What else we got on our dremels here? Let me get a different bed to go on that because I don't want to mess it up. We're just going to use this one here. Because <clears throat> I think on my interior is going to hit the one pin there. It's sticking out just a little bit. So I'm just going to hit that a little bit. It may not do it. Um, let me see if I can cut it. I'm going to have to get something a little more aggressive to uh, knock that down. Of course, it's in on the inside, so it's it's not going to be something that's. Um, I'm concerned about scratching. I just don't want to. I don't want to hit the bottom of the truck or anything with this. So we're going to take a cutoff wheel here and just go in there and lightly hit that. My cords are all tangled up. I can't get over here to you. Got that one. That should be the only one we need to fix. <laughs> so we gotta put our backing in on our truck here. And get our back piece in. Alright, let's see if our interior goes in. It should just slide right on in. Hopefully. Well, I see a problem. So that's no big deal. I'm gonna take the back one is hitting where the pins go in. So I'm just gonna take and take a little bit of material off the edge here. Just wanted to get that done. So the interior slide up in there a little better. Now we're clearing our our uh, pins there. I'm just trying to get everything back in place. I think my I don't have my interior in right or something. Now this paint is still, or clear is still a little green. That's kind of why I'm being, another reason why I'm being kind of careful with it is um, I love a little fingerprint it, pushing kind of hard on it. 
so I don't want to fingerprint it. Oh, well, something's not, there it goes, maybe. Just trying to get the interior in it a little better. Just checking everything, make sure it's setting. I like it needs to set, and I'm just gonna stick it on here just to see. So that's looking good. So now we're gonna put our visor and our mirrors on, and then we will assemble our bed. And that should have everything done on a little truck. Let's see here. Put a little, I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on my pins here just to hold it. So we're just gonna put a little, this is why I use toothpicks because you can con, kind of control how much glue you put on everything versus just taking the um, the glue itself. And, and it don't take a whole lot of glue to get this stuff on. Cause I mean, my stuff sits in a shelf or on, in a cabinet as a lot of y'all know. So it's not really, out so it's gonna get messed up and stuff so i'm gonna take it and set it on our pins there all right just got that we'll put just a dot of instacure on that and it's a set. And it's got our visor put back on. Now we will get our mirrors put in place. And we will be almost done. Um, I think I'm gonna open these holes up just a little bit just to so they'll slide in, cause I think I've got some clear in my hole openings. So that's about a 50 thousandths hole. So we'll get our drill bits out here. And find us a 50 thousandths drill bit. Let's see what this one is here. I think that was too big. I think that's more like a 60 or something. Yeah, that's 70, that's too big. So we'll dig in here and find our 50,000 drill bit. And that one's about 60, so that'll be fine. We'll open them up just a tad. So we're just gonna go in here and too big. Let's back up. Let's go to a 50. So that does look a little big. Let's see what this one is. That's a 60. Let's see what this one is here. I think it's just got a little clear in it. And it's 55. That was a lot better. So we'll drill these real quick make sure you're in the shot you got that one I'm just gonna hit that one just a little bit that one should be okay I don't get too close to that so let's see if our mirrors are going in now. Oh yeah, much better. So I'm gonna take 
my glue again and put just a little bit more down on my table here. That other, I think, set up on me. And we're going to put just a little bit on that tip there and a little on that tip. And set this mirror in place. So there's that one. Put a little that's a set on it. I was trying to watch what I'm doing and still get y'all in the shot. Let's get our next one on. A little glue on it. I just used a bottle to put just a little on it because it, I think my, my uh, little spot there dried up quicker than I could get it on. All right, I'll put a little dab on there. Get that set. Okay. So that's got that. That's got our cab put back together. So we're going to go ahead and fasten it to the truck. Get our Phillips head screwdriver. We'll flip it over and get it bolted in. That's a little tight. I need to loosen it up just a little bit. Now, I see a problem. The truck's wanting to lift up because it no longer has the back of the truck. So I'm gonna take and put some glue underneath it there and hold it. You go ahead and set that. And I don't really like holding it like that because like I said, this, this is still pretty, pretty green clear and I don't want it to fingerprint it. We'll just hold it for a few seconds. All right. So now we just put our bed on here and we will have this little project done. So we need to make sure that we're centered over our fender wells. And um, I think that's all we really need to do. We're gonna put some glue down around the base here. Down our frame rails, set our bed down. First, I want to make sure I'm kind of centered up over the truck here. And um, check the um, wheel well openings here and here. I want to scoot this back just a shade there. I think we're good there. Look underneath the truck. Looking at my reveal on each side. And. I know this hole here in the center of the truck should be pretty close. So we're just gonna continue to look. Looks good to me. So we're gonna put a little glue down around it a couple places. And that should have it. Let this thing sit here for a minute and dry. And there you got it. The little truck is heavy. So there you go. We got our little CXT put together. I think it turned out really well. Um, 
And I'll do some pictures of it here in a few once all this dries. We, of course, we did our video and everything, so I'll do some pictures at the end of it up close and everything. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this little little session. <laughs> Moving on to um, something else here while I've got you. So this is something that I started a while back. And we're going to get it finished. We're going to um, start this truck again. So this will be the next uh, video session of the, the channel is putting this truck together and getting it finished. It's, it's almost done as far as mocking everything up, but we'll start on this. This, this will be the next videos coming out. will be the little purple and white truck. So I hope y'all will... Stay tuned and watch for that. Be sure you like, subscribe to the channel and help the channel continue to grow so I can get content out there to people that's wanting to get into hobby. And I get messages quite often through Facebook and Instagram and everything. So of how everybody likes the videos. So just uh, continue to share and like and subscribe. So. I will see y'all in a couple of days, and we will get back on the purple and white Peterbilt. Hope y'all have a, have had a good weekend, and have a good week.